hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have square root of c divided by c is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of c and at the last we will check that which of these values of c are solution and which of these uh, roots of uh, this equation has extraneous roots and at the last i can just explain the term extraneous root so please watch this video at the end uh, also we solve this problem for two methods and i hope so you like both of these methods but uh, if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here in first method uh, we need to focus in the denominator term and you see here this is c uh, we write uh, any number a in the form of the product of radical we know that if you have a we write it as square root of a multiplied by square root of a so according to this rule we uh, write this c as in this form this is square root of c divided by we write this term as uh, square root of c multiplied by square root of c and it is equals to 1 and further you see here we have this c is cancelled out by this uh, square root of c and we will get here the remaining values are 1 divided by square root of c is equals to 1 also because we solve this problem for the values of c so that's why we move this square root of c to the right hand side and when we move this to the right hand side it will be written as 1 is equals to square root of c so here for the values of c we need to take squaring on both of the sides so that when we will take squaring it will be written as in this form so you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and uh, we will get here the value of c is equals to here we have this is 1 square and a 1 square is equals to 1 so here we uh, get this is the one uh, root of the given equation and now here in the next steps we need to verify these roots and we check that uh, is this root is satisfied our given question statement or not so for verification of this root we need to uh, copy down given question statement here it is square root of c divided by c is equals to 1 and we verify the value of c is equals to 1 here so it means that we need to put this value of c into the left hand side of uh, uh, the, this given equation and after substituting this value it will be written as uh, this will become a square root of 1 divided by 1 is equals to 1 only and uh, further you see here we have square root of 1 is equals to 1 divided by 1 is equals to 1 so uh, this shows that 1 is equals to 1 so this means that the value of c is equals to 1 is satisfied over this given question statement so c equals to 1 be the only one solution of the given equation uh, so this is uh, the our first method and now we again solve this problem for second method and now here in second method we again copy down a given question statement here so that uh, the given question statement is square root of c divided by c is equals to 1 so in second method uh, here we move uh, the term c to the right hand side and it will be written as uh, so here we get a square root of c is equals to c and here our next target is uh, to find uh, is to uh, remove uh, this square root sign from left hand side uh, so for this we need to take uh, the squaring on both of the sides so when we will take squaring it will be written as in this form and now here further in the next step you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here c is equals to this is c square so here we move the c to the right hand side and it will be written as c square minus c is equals to 0 
and now you see here both of these terms involve c so that we will take common c from here and we get the remaining values are c minus 1 is equals to 0 and now in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c is equals to 0 and the second case is we write c minus 1 is equals to 0 so this is the one root of the given equation and from here we get the value of c is equals to 1 and this is the second root of the given equation so uh, in uh, method number one we always check that c is if we also check that c is equals to 1 be the uh, root of the given equation uh, so this is the solution of the given equation which we check here uh, from first method because it satisfied the given question statement and now here we need to verify the second root that is c is equals to 0 so that for verification of this root uh, we need to copy down given question statement here it is square root of c divided by c is equals to 1 and when we put uh, this c is equals to 0 uh, into the left hand side of this equation it will be written as 0 uh, square root of 0 divided by 0 is equals to 1 this implies that the square root of 0 becomes 0 over 0 is equals to 1 so you know that 0 over 0 is the uh, indeterminate form okay this is the indeterminate form uh, so uh, in other words the indeterminate form uh, means that the left hand side ha uh, has undefined form so if this is undefined it means that it does not satisfy uh, the given question statement this means that the value of c is equal to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement so c is equal to 0 p the extraneous root of the given equation uh, and we have only one uh, solution of the given equation that is c is equal to 1 so this is the solution and uh, this is the our final conclusion so here i can just little bit explain about extraneous root as so you know that um, the root which does not satisfy our given question statement is called uh, the extraneous root and the root which is satisfied the given question statement is called the solution of that equation so this is the, our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos